Hi there, uh, my name is uh, Einar Magnus and um, today I'm going to talk about Blitz Basic Plus. Now for those of you who don't know what Blitz Basic is, it's just a, simply, um, a simplified version of uh, Basic uh, for writing games and it's a very good first step if you want to write your own game and never have done any programming before. Uh, if you want to learn more about Blitz Basic, uh, if you want to learn enough to make your own first game, I suggest you go over it on uh, another YouTube. Well, a uh, um, guy. Uh, his name is AMC Adam 26. Uh, from his video, you can see down here. Let me show you. He has uh, a playlist called. Beginner's Guide to Blitz Basic, and um, there it's ten videos. It's uh, approximately ten minutes per video. So if you follow this guide, um, you will uh, be able to make your first game in like two hours or something. Um, with that said, uh, I'm going to talk a little about um, how to make a menu for your game. Uh, and I'm also going to touch um, on some subjects like um, labels in the include statement and um, uh, oh what was that last thing yeah well I'll, I'll get to it uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I followed this uh, beginner's guide and I made my first game that game was um, uh, a space invaders game but uh, there were a couple of things that uh, Adam here didn't mention that I've learned after I did this uh, guide, so I'm going to touch on those subjects. I also spoke with him uh, through uh, a message and uh, he said he was going to do a, um, um, a tutorial on how to make a menu himself. That I think that one will be better than mine, but um, anyway I'm going to show you a very easy way to make a menu for your game. So let's go to my Blitz Basic window here. Let's see, uh, this is actually the game I created uh, when I watched uh, the guide that Adam made. This is a basic, just easy um, Space Invaders game. But let's go down to the menu, let's see. Okay, there you have it. Uh, the way I made my menu, uh, I'm, I'm calling it an uh, intro screen actually. It's more like an intro screen too because at the moment my menu or my screen it doesn't have any choices other than to start the game or to end it. But anyway, uh, the way I did this I did it with a function. The way functions work it's just um, it's hard to explain the code for me, uh, but you start with writing the code function and then you give the function a name. And then you start here with a, a repeating uh, string of code or a repeating code. So everything that's underneath the repeat code uh, till down here, everything this will repeat. Uh, forever until something happens and you can see that uh, in the code here. This actually says until key down 57, the key 57 it's the space bar. So this code here will run forever until someone hits the space bar. And I'm not going to explain all the code here. Uh, this is actually um, um, uh, something taken from another tutorial of Adam's how to make particles so what this would actually do is it will spread a lot of let's call it stars or particles in the background so that will be my background image if you can call it that or my background animation and on top of that I'm going to write in two lines of text um, the text here, it's I'm uh, running the game at 800 times 800, so this will be smack in the middle, and it says Space Invaders by, and my name. And 
slightly under that it would say press the spacebar to continue. So we flip that onto the screen and that will run forever until somebody hits the space key. And then I type end function. But this will not be shown yet because this is just everything you see here from there to down here. It's just the declaring of the function, what the function does. So to actually run this function, I started before my main loop here, you see. And I just write the name of the function, intro screen. So I'm going to try to start this up, but keep in mind that my game is 800 times 800 and I'm running the camera at 800 times 600, so you won't be able to see it all. But here you have the game or the intro screen. You see the particles in the background and it says Space Invaders by Ener Magnus. Press spacebar to continue. And if I press spacebar, the game will start. Let's see now. Uh, you can see the whole game because it's too large, but anyway, you get my point. Um, the other things I was going to talk about, let me just check here how long I've been talking. Yeah, I still have some time left. Um, I was going to talk to you about um, uh, the include statement and labels. Uh, that's also a thing Adam didn't mention. I don't, uh, at least I don't think he did. Uh, labels is just an easy way to um, for you to set a label in your code, so you can easily find that place in the code without searching for it or reading through the code. For example, uh, a place you will find yourself going back to is the main loop. That's here. But if you're way down here and you haven't made any fancy code like or comments in your code like this, you won't be able to find it that quickly. So what you can simply do if if you just write this line here or this is just the name of the label. So you have to declare it with a punctation. So I write punctation main loop, and if you see here, uh, here you have all the functions I have in the game, the types. Well, the types I'm going to get to soon because they're in used by an include statement. But if you go to labels, you see that the label I just made for my main loop is here. So let me show you how that works. Let's say I'm way down in the code here, somewhere, and I want to go to the main loop. Well. Then I just press my label here, boom, and it transport me right up to the main loop. Let's see. Uh, wait a minute. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's try again. Main loop. Mm, that's strange. Well, let's try another intro screen. Yeah, that one works. I'm not sure what happened to the last one, but anyway. If I'm way down in the code and I press intro screen here, it will automatically go up to the label I made for my intro screen. So that's a easy way to keep track of where your code is. Um, that's, yeah, I was going to talk about the include statement. Um, when you have a lot of code uh, it will be easier to keep it in separate files. For example, um, it would be a lot of code here in my main file if I um, were to have every code I have for the game. So when it comes to the star field, uh, the loading of the images and the sounds and all my types, I have separate files for them. You can see them up here. Here is all my types. I have a type for my bullets, my bombs, my aliens and the particles. So I just write that in separate files that I call types and instead of writing it in the main in the main file I just include it. So the way you do that is just write include and like you see here uh, just the name of the file. With that said uh, I'm going to shut up. I think I'm out of time soon. So I'm just going to mention one more time, uh, if you want to learn about making your own games with Blitz Basic, 
check out AMC Adam26. And another thing, if you want to make your own tutorials like I did right now, um, you can just go over to camstudio.org. Uh, that's an open source program for capturing what's happening on your screen and uh, the sound on your microphone. So if you just go down this page, press, press the camstudio.20.exe dot dot and you can download this program for free. I hope you liked the, this video. Uh, hopefully I will make more. So just comment and uh, take care. Bye bye.